जब हजबेंड रील्स बनाने से मना करे तो माँ को पकड़ लो आई एम नॉट गोन डू इट जिस फॉर कॉन्टेंट दैट जिस नॉट हु आई एम I may or may not be as excited for this Kashmir trip as I was for the six-week trip we did earlier this year. Mother has found herself a little bit of window shopping to do even at the airport. Srinagar earlier today took a quick pit stop for lunch and we checked into our lovely little Airbnb over here we'll talk about this a little bit later but i want to give you context as to why i'm in kashmir all of a sudden i was supposed to be here for a brand trip for just one night like two days and one night and then because i was coming here and my parents come to kashmir religiously every year like once a year or once every one and a half year they're here and this year they haven't come at all they came last in march 2022 unfortunately i had covid at the time and couldn't join them but on this trip we turned a one night work trip into a one week long vacation of sorts i'm super excited for this because not only do i have jerry with me but i also have my mum and my dad they're all freshening up right now in their rooms and washrooms and all of that because we checked into this property about 20 minutes ago talking about the property we just checked into we are staying at this really cool heritage property in srinagar it's an airbnb i highly recommend you look it up even though we got in only about 20 minutes ago first impressions is that it is so beautiful has so much history and it's actually been built in 1938 and is basically a generationally passed down property they have a lot of really cute bungalows around the property and uh, it's just really really beautiful i will give you guys a proper tour in the morning but the shots you're seeing right now have been taken in the evening time which is also why i'm sitting with a light it is late afternoon early evening the plan right now is to quickly get ready and freshen up like i said and then we're going to head towards dal lake very excited to be back in kashmir after 20 years i think i came here last when i was about 13 12 13 i can't quite remember so very excited to explore all over again i know it's not going to be too much because we have only like about 5 days or 7 days if you count the days that i have work as well but i'm all pumped for it walking by dal lake with jerry and my mom my dad found a masjid close by so he's gone to pray and even though the sun has kind of already set and it's not really as crowded as it is typically obviously during like season time because it's considered off season over here the weather is nice it's super pleasant and i love that it's not crowded jerry is now teaching my mom a few things about adjusting exposure on the camera love that for her first full day another my second day here in shrinagar it is quite warm and sunny this morning but i promised you i would show you this place in the daytime and this is what the outside looks like this property is really really serene we had breakfast in the morning and they have this wonderful team that comes in and makes whatever you want i'm going to leave a link into this exact property down below in the info box just in case you're coming to shrinagar as well and like a homestay experience i'm a big fan like it's really weird because i can do hotels and then i can do homestays and i like everything in between i'll take every experience i can get i'm just one of those people and this has been a great kick off to this week i am wearing i have to show you this t-shirt with sugar written on it and husband is wearing one with sabar written on it and he ordered it for the both of us and at the breakfast table my parents see him wearing sabar and they start laughing <laughs> this is one of those if you know you know things where it's like Oh as if he has sabar to be with me sabar means patience in case that's a word that's new to you um we got some pictures both of us this morning and i got a couple with my mom as well my dad is going to come out and then i know we definitely want to take some more photos over here before leaving i'll insert them for you in the video so you can see <laughs> What are you doing? Why have you gotten into this new childlike habit? Da -da 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 -da. Um, we're gonna get going. The agenda But for the day. You have to explain the entire thing. So sabar is for me because I what have patience to be with me, and shukar is for her because she's grateful to be with me. Ah. 
May or may not leave him behind in Kashmir, just letting you know, letting you in on a little secret. What is the agenda for the day? The agenda for the day initially was to go to this place called, okay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Kerin. And, but it's a really, really far off place. And in fact, the locals we've spoken to here don't know what the place is all about. My parents know like roads around Srinagar. They know their ways around Srinagar. So they come here, you know, like I mentioned earlier, at least once a year. And uh, we decided not to go there because it's a five hour journey to, five hour journey back. So it's like the whole day would go. Instead, we're going to Pahalgam today. And even there, a few of the plans we had have been edited because Jerry doesn't like to sit on horseback. So we're figuring out what other things we can do. But otherwise, you must go to Pahalgam and just experience it on horseback. Like it's meant to be. There's this place called, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly again, Baisaran. I think I, I my parents were discussing oh, where you go on horseback. But instead, we're planning to go there and uh, experience a few other places. And of course, I'm going to take you with. I hear noise and commotion and voices. I think everyone's ready. Is everybody ready? Are we ready to go? Yeah. Just one picture. Okay, we're going to do pictures and then we're going to go. We've taken a quick pit stop over here right by the highway. There's a lot of shops for cricket bats. The willow trees in Kashmir make for this to be one of the best producing places in the world for cricket bats. And my brother plays cricket, which is why we've stopped here to get some, I think, one or two bats for him, for his request. Jerry, do you want a bat as well? No. No? Okay. There are two kinds of willows that are famous for cricket bats. Mm -hmm. Kashmir willow and English willow. Okay. So Kashmir, you know, obviously in Kashmir, mm -hmm. Kashmir willows are good, that is very conducive to producing bats. Come, I'll show you what a good bat. Wow, we have a new vlogger over here. I love it. I played cricket all my life. I know, I know. I'm just saying we have a new vlogger over here, I said. So when you choose a bat, you actually choose according to the weight, how it feels in the hand, because that's extremely important. You can't just choose any bat based on it. Also the height. You see the height here? It's a little too long for me when I'm batting. Also every bat has something called a sweet spot. You know what a sweet spot is? You're my sweet spot. <laughs> I said apple valley and very nice apple juice, not sponsored, we paid for it. <laughs> the OG influencer. This is a restaurant that my parents have come to several times before and apparently it's mad amazing veg food so clearly they recommend. We're in the market over here in Belgaum. This is where we just had lunch. And of course, mummy and I want to see kraftans and Kashmiri clothes. Let's see what's nice. This is the one I like. I don't think I have anything in white that's Kashmiri and that I can make a kaftan fit out of. Kitne meter hai kya hai? Yeah, sade paanch meter. Sade paanch meter. Shalwar isi mein aayega. Ye front side hai. Shalwar pe bhi kaam hai. Aur shalwar ka bhi bhara hua kaam hai? Nahi, shalwar pe. Ye wo plain hai. Shalwar plain aayega, lekin kaam aayega usme. Dikha sakte hain aap please? Shalwar pe aayega. So the shalwar ka bottom. Pakistan. <laughs> Jerry has disowned all of us. Ice. Mother is relishing ice. that there is ice. That ice, is... baby. <laughs> ice, ice. Ice, ice, baby. Oh my god, the water is so cold. I need to pull my pant up. I don't want it to get wet. Ah, it's so cold. Mama, put your other foot also. <laughs> Huh? 
Which song? Mom, that means would you go to bed with me? No, no, no. It's this song. <laughs> I'm gonna post all this. <laughs> Let me think. You've ever wondered where my madness comes from? It is no mystery anymore. Holidays with your partner are one thing, but to be honest, if you're as close to your parents as I know I am to mine, holidays with your parents are a whole other vibe. I miss being younger and living with them, um, and I wish I could like continue to live with them. I guess in a way, without while still being married to Jerry. <sighs> I really am enjoying my Okay, quick update on where we are. We are currently at this beautiful property called Heevan. This is an independent hotel where my parents have stayed a couple of times in the past. In fact, one of their last days here, there was an earthquake in Kashmir and this was the property that they were staying at and were very well looked after. None of this is sponsored, but I'm just letting you know. Okay, so this property is right at the river Lida and we were just chilling there. The snippets you saw were literally from right behind where the camera is placed right now. Now, is he doing silly things? Be <laughs> Jerry, stop it now! And we are basically here to just chill and hang and have some chai, pakoras, that kind of a thing. Typically, when my parents come to Pahalgam, like I mentioned earlier, they're super frequent travelers to Kashmir, um, like yearly, not super frequent in the sense since 2014, more or less. Mama, since 2014, more or less, you guys have been coming once every 12 to 18 months, right? My battery died, so I don't know where you stopped hearing me um, at. So my parents, traveling with family means getting cut off because a lot of people are talking at the same time. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so as I was saying, when my parents come to Pahalgam, typically they go to a couple of different places. I actually want to catch my dad and have him tell you guys what their usual Pahalgam itinerary looks like. Papa, can you come here and join me for a minute? Just a minute. Okay, so I was telling my YouTube fam that you guys come here every 12 to 18 months, more or less. Today we're going super chill in Pahalgam and just hanging around. We went to the market like you saw and now we're sitting for some chai and pakoras because Jerry basically doesn't like to sit on horseback. But typically the places you go to is called, it's called Bais. Baisaran. Hold it closer just in case. Baisaran. Baisaran. Ori. Uh, Aru Valley. Aru Valley. So, uh, Chandanwadi which you can access only during summers. Okay, so Aru Valley I've been to before. On that trip, you were not with us. This yeah. is like the trip I came on 20 years ago with my dada, my chachu chachi, two cousins and my mum and me. And it's like a very vertical pahad almost where you have to go on a horseback. Yeah. What is Baisaran? Baisaran is the, it's also the horseback. mini Switzerland of Kashmir. Mini Switzerland. It's mini I'm like, Switzerland of Kashmir. Yeah. And uh, what do you see there? Like apart from like, it's, it's, it's obviously so, mountains, but are there like the rivers? Horseback, the journey is fantastic fantastic it's a nice ride it's about 50 minutes ride to the valley Paisaran. it's beautiful an alternate plan that we were considering but we didn't do was Keren how do you pronounce that? Keren Keren, Keren. we didn't go there that's we a very long plan. drive uh, but actually what we did realize today was that if you do come in the winters you can't drive there you can go there by chopper and going there by chopper is actually not that expensive it's about 4000 rupees for a round trip right? Round per trip, person yeah. which is not bad for a chopper experience from Srinagar Srinagar airport yeah but because and chopper right. experiences are more expensive otherwise yeah, so this otherwise. is not bad comparatively yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. Um, um, and they stayed at this property how many years ago when there was an earthquake? Two years back. Two years back. 21. 2021. Yeah. So just in case you are coming here, those are some optional add-on add ideas this is for my your hotel in Pahalgam. Even. What are your other favorite hotels in Kashmir? Tell them. Oh, Orchid. Okay. Yeah. Orchid okay, Resort. With where is that? Srinagar. Okay. So if you are doing Srinagar, those are some options for you. And in uh, Gulmarg? Gulmarg, of course. Khaibar. Khaibar. Everybody loves Khaibar. Uh, we're going to be staying there for a night. My dad and I. So basically, context, I, we were, I was coming here. I know I mentioned this somewhere earlier, but I was coming here for a two days, one night uh, trip for Mercedes. And my dad was going to be my plus one on this trip because he loves Mercedes and he loves Kashmir. So it was the perfect combination. And then we kind of turned it into a trip. That's what happened. Okay. And if you come in summer, you must also visit Gures. Gurez Valley and Lolab Valley. Gurez Valley and Lolab Valley. Yeah. Make notes or come back to this video when you're planning your Kashmir trip. Quick pit stop for Kava on the way back to Srinagar. It's me, 
Mama, Papa, and Sahir Bhai, who is has been driving us around. Is he? Uh, who wanna have kava? Jerry wants to skip. Kava. Jerry, don't you wanna taste it? Kava, they kava. say kava. No, they say kava. आप कैसे pronounce करते हो kava को? Sahir Bhai, आप क्या बोलते हो? Kashmiri kava. और कावा कैसा है इन्होने हमको कावा खिला मैंने कभी ड्राई फ्रूट्स के साथ कभी नहीं ट्राई किया है नॉर्मल ट्राई किया है मैंने तो हमेशा ये बहुत अलग और अच्छा है गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रॉम मिस्टर हैडू ओवर हियर एंड ऑल ऑफ अस दिस इज डे थ्री कश्मीर वी आर इन श्रीनगर एंड करंटली वी फिनिश द ब्रेकफेस्ट एंड इट इज नाइन फिफ्टी ए एम एंड वी आर ड्राइविंग टू सोनमर्ग वुड यू वॉन्ट टू से एनीथिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग फनी जेस्टर्स फ्रॉम बिहाइंड मी नथिंग आई यू श्योर Yeah, are you having a good time in Kashmir? Your first trip. Are you wishing you saw it in the snow first, or are you okay with seeing a summery Kashmir? Okay, he's playing dumb charades this morning. Uh, my dad and my mum and I have already talked about coming back later this year when there is actual snow. So hopefully he will enjoy that more. But even then, so the weather here has been quite nice. Um, it's a little bit warm in the day, but then the windy aspect of it completely compensates for it. And then in the evenings. It's a lot more pleasant, which is really, really nice. Where we spent yesterday in Pahlgam, today we're spending the day in Sonmarg. Hopefully, if we get back in time before sunsetish, then we should have enough time for a shikara ride. We did consider going for a shikara ride, like now in the morning, but I realized that it might be a little too warm and too, um, you know, sunny. So we want to try and see if we can make it by sunset. This is our last day in Srinagar. Tomorrow we leave Srinagar and head to Part Two of this trip. But very much looking forward to Sonmarg. Something to keep in mind about Sonmarg is that it's obviously more beautiful when there's snow and then, you know all of that. But the glacier is still something that you can go and see and experience. There's a little bit of a horse ride that you might need to get on. I'll get to know exactly what the picture is as we get there. So obviously I'll share that information with you guys. For now, it's about a three-hour road trip ahead of us. Why are you in this dumb charades mood this morning? Are you not going to talk all day? Much 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 later. We're about 2 hours into the drive and as you can see my seat is so reclined. I basically passed out. When I'm traveling, I go into sleep anywhere, sleep easily, catch a cat nap kind of a mode. Um it really is like that because then you're starting early morning. Plus, I get up before every anyone else to just do a little bit of glam. I feel like I get the rest wherever, however I can. My parents have been inside this cheese galaxy bhaba, um, and I didn't go. I just kept sitting, but I'm realizing that maybe I should just go and take a sip of Mama's chai. I don't feel like having a chai by myself, but maybe a sip isn't so bad. Just to feel a little bit fresher. Aww. What a cute dorm! I'm what a cute dorm! Mama, you look so chic in that quilted jacket. She's adjusting. Yeah, thank yeah. You. and her jacket is like reversible. Wait, show them the inside. Where is it from? Yeah, that's the coloured side, and you're wearing the. Where is it from? This is from Pavna. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> This is from Pavna. Why are you talking? Because you're asking such silly questions. Why is it a silly question? I genuinely didn't know where it was from, and I thought it's a really cool jacket. You're just trying to put my leg. No, not at all. I genuinely am telling her that it's a really nice jacket, and she thinks I'm like. It is. It is. Nice and I'm jacket. asking her where it's from. She's like, okay. it is from Pavna. Like she's like, I as if I'm from Paris. As a yeah, <laughs> she thinks I'm pulling her Pavna. She thinks I'm pulling her leg or whatever. She's mad. तो मैं बोल रही थी तो मैं क्या बंगाली में बोल रही थी
literally nothing I say or this camera captures or any camera captures will be able to translate this beauty like this is my mother ladies and gentlemen <laughs> मुझे कुदरत की खूबसूरती भी चाहिए एंड हमारी खूबसूरती दैट्स व्हाट शी सेड हैविंग कहवा पापा वाज आल्सो हैविंग कहवा ही फिनिश्ड इट ही रीच्ड द टॉप ऑफ द हिल आई शो द पिक्चर ए यू विल ड्रॉप इट ऑन योर सेल्फ बी केयरफुल से कहवा कहवा अकॉर्डिंग टू व्हाट जेरी सेड एंड आई एम वेटिंग फॉर माय मैगी Tell me if you can relate down below in the comments. But I basically don't end up drinking a lot of water when I'm in the mountains because there's not enough toilets, and then I don't know where to go pee. Basically, my Maggie is here. It looks really good, but it's also Mama. It's so hot. I don't know how you're holding it. It's it just the plate feels really really. I'll hot. hold. I'll hold your camera. Uh, I'm just gonna eat. This is the Maggie. This is me. This is my mom, and this is my hungry belly. Now I'll go eat. Thanks. <laughs> Just where the car park area is in Sonmark, so I have come here. Mama is with me; she's in the washroom. Papa has gone back in the car to find Jerry because obviously he's been a lot slower than us because he's walking and we were on horseback. He does not like horseback. In case I haven't mentioned this earlier, a few things to keep in mind, without sounding preachy, but just genuinely giving you tips, is that a lot of phone connections don't work here. Airtel and Jio work here really well. If you're in Srinagar, Vodafone will work. No prepaid connections work in Jammu and Kashmir at all, from what I've been told. Um, mm -hmm. Apart from which, because you don't have a lot of connection at a lot of places, Google Pay might not work even on Wi-Fi or whatever. Google Pay doesn't work. It needs your cellular connection to be active and reachable. Carry cash as well, because you will want to tip at a lot of places, depending on whatever you choose to. And naturally, you will need cash for that, for that, and payments and all in general. But everything is so scenic. I was almost like I couldn't put my phone down at one point while I was while I was even on the horseback, and I was like, oh my god, I want to enjoy this and live in the moment, and I still want to capture everything to be able to just share it with you guys, and also just relive it whenever I want to. Like I'm sitting here in the Lemon Tree Hotel cafe waiting for everyone, and I want to show you what what I'm looking at, like. There is not a corner without beauty over here. It is unbelievable. It is surreal. Call it what you want. Hello and good morning. It may look like I have just gotten up, but I really, truly haven't. I'm all sunscreened and moisturized and leaving my skin makeup list for the most part of today. We are all packed, as you may see, and ready to leave for the second part of this trip. We're going to spend the next few days in Gulmarg. Very excited for this because the property that we booked there also is really, really stunning. Two really. Great properties that my dad and I are going to stay at. I will take you along with me per usual, and um, I'm just trying to get a lot of work done on my phone because I'm going to lose connection as soon as we leave, like Srinagar. Um, but this B&B that we're staying at, which is called Awakening Kashmir on um, Google Maps or on at the Airbnb app, that's how you can find it, is adjacent to the Jhelum River. They literally have a gate that looks over Jhelum, so we're trying to see if we have 10 to 15 minutes. to quickly pop on there and take a little view in before we get into the car our luggage is already getting loaded up into the car as we speak hello from khaibar in gulmarg hi papa hi and the view here is just Stunning. We've been welcomed with what I think and assume is kahwa. It smells amazing. We dropped off my mom and Jerry at the Airbnb on the way here. Dad and I are going to be here for the Mercedes event for one night, two days basically, today and tomorrow. And then tomorrow at the end of the day, when everyone else from this batch at the event gets done, uh, they'll head back to the airport. We'll head back to the Airbnb and stay in Kashmir for two more days in Gulmarg, in Tanmarg rather, for two more days and explore Gulmarg. This is a property that Papa has been really excited about staying at because he has wanted to stay here for a while, and every time he makes an inquiry for this place, it's sold out. So the fact that we 
didn't even know we were going to stay here and then after we confirmed that it was us like i came to know that we were staying at the khaibar it was like a cherry on the cake for him because he was like oh my god i wanted to stay here for so long is that kava yeah much 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 later hi it is almost 7 pm and i just thought i'd come in and say hi to you guys it's been a week long vlog of exploring kashmir and today has been the first day where i think i've gone like super super slow i look super orange right now but that's because the lighting in this room is very very yellow very very orange and i could change the settings hang on okay this is a lot better <laughs> this is the natural setting i don't know why sometimes the lighting changes because of different things and i have to go manually change it back um it's been the first day that i think i've genuinely gone slow and the content creator part of my brain is regretting going slow because i like if i had my team with me for example um i would have been shooting all over this property it is so beautiful and it's been officially added to my bucket list i get the hype as to why my dad wanted to come here in a sense that we didn't even know that we were going to stay at khaibar when i added him as my plus one i added him as my plus one because it was mercedes and because it's kashmir and he likes that both those things but the fact that it turned out to be khaibar he was thrilled and elated because he's tried to book this property a few times in the past and it's always been sold out and now that i've come here and i see it i get the hype and i get why he was ex excited about visiting and staying at this property even if it's so just for one night um it is stunning the area around it is stunning and it is now added to my bucket list of properties that i want to come and stay at and possibly even collab with because there's just so much to do all around here in a sense from a scenic pictorial content lens and of course in general to do in gulmarg also the content creator side of me was thinking that but the just non creator side of me has been really grateful for this one slow day taking it all in the weather is amazing i yeah i do feel a little bit guilty for not working as much i'm just coordinating things with teams back in you know bombay and there are three four big events launches things happening that i'm coordinating in various capacities but even then so feeling very 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 grateful for today i just got done with doing my makeup and i really honestly haven't done much i applied the natasha denona concealer I have rose roulade from where I find on my lips. I have cinnabar on my cheek. I have the Benefit Goof Proof powder that I've been obsessed with on my eyebrows. The NYX palette on my eyes and the L'Oreal Air Volume lashes or mascara on my lashes. I didn't go on to the lower lashes much. Actually, I didn't go at all. I just wanted to leave it be because I didn't want it to look too much. I wanted to leave it super like subtle and natural. There's no foundation, tint, bronzer, contour, highlighter, nothing. Um but i do feel like just lipstick and brows can really change the way your face looks and feels i am in desperate need of a hair wash but since i spent about 30 minutes in the tub i i mean i could have still taken a hair wash but i said you know what it's fine i'm just going to let it be and possibly take the hair wash on sunday the day we leave or i might just take it on monday i can get glam go to the salon get a wash blow dry and leave for the big event i have on monday which of course you will see in the next vlog I also need to sit back and approve a whole lot of content which I'm going to try to do today if not today then tomorrow because I do have a little bit of time before that needs to go up and uh, just a whole lot of that kind of stuff. Let's quickly show you what it looks like outside right now. The sun has pretty much almost set but you can see even then so Oh my god. It is so cold. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's cold. Um I don't know why I'm whispering. This is beautiful even at sunset my god this is just such a stunning property like i said a very aptly added to my bucket list the event is going to be somewhere down and we meet first at a restaurant before the car unveil and everything i cannot i don't think like no matter how much i share footage with you from my camera from my 360 camera vlog camera phone camera i don't think anything can truly do justice to the beauty of the mountains and i am not even a mountain person i am as beach person as a beach person gets but i couldn't like so today i really wanted to like just catch a cat nap on the way up here it was about a 2 hour drive from shrinagar but i couldn't stop staring at the hills i just couldn't stop staring at things and so i stayed up i didn't sleep at all which is quite unlike me because like i've mentioned before in travel mode i go into like catch a nap wherever you can but the drive up here is really windy the last half an hour gave me a little bit of a 
headache and my motion sickness kicked in so if you're coming here straight from Srinagar airport possibly I would have that I have a mind which I typically do pop but um, nevertheless it was worth it it was 100% worth it good morning it is 7 7 15 in the morning and as usual I am the first person to get where we need to get usually I'm like Ugh, I'm the first one again and I'm gonna have to wait for people but today I have my very punctual daddy with me who I actually get my punctuality from <laughs> which I kind of hate sometimes because I always land up waiting for people because nobody else is ever on time so I always land up waiting for people no matter where we go um, we are at still at the Khyber we just ordered omelets we're gonna have breakfast and then there's gonna be a quick briefing on what routes you can take around Mercedes has done a fab job with getting like every piece of paperwork permission they've been in uh, liaison with the JNK tourism the army and everything so I think that they've done a really good job and they really want to support the state and the region as a whole which I think is really truly commendable so I'm excited for this we're particularly excited because yesterday the driver who got us from Srinagar to the Khyber here in Gulmarg recommended Papa how do you pronounce the name Bal ba Bota Patri Bota Patri to us and my dad was like oh if it's so pretty we should like if the place is so beautiful basically we should take the car there to do your shoots and that is one of the routes that they are recommending um, I'm extra extra happy because typically the cars are either if you're really like lucky like in the last couple of drives I've got in my own cars also even in Humpy but typically there are two people two media people and then there are plus ones who share a car so it's four people in a car and the person that I've gotten is this really cool female auto journalist called Renuka and her plus one is Rushab who has been working with me for so long so I'm super thrilled that we're gonna have great company through the day yeah so looking forward to having Nashta getting the briefing and then to get going and experiencing the new Mercedes. day in Kashmir. Happy to be going home but I'm definitely going to miss this place so much. I have an update to give you from yesterday. So we spent most of yesterday with Mercedes obviously and then we came and joined my mum and Jerry at this most adorable Airbnb. I'm going to link both of these BNBs down below. They have hosted me but I have to tell you specifically it's not for YouTube. Whatever I'm doing for them is on Instagram but I have to specifically tell you guys here because I feel like I feel like YouTube fam just has to know everything first of all. Secondly, the people here. I mean the property is amazing, it's lovely, it's beautifully done, it's so quirky, cool, extra. It's like a little Bollywood set of sorts and of course I know I'm showing you snippets so you get a little bit of a glimpse of it but Abdul Kayum Bhai Chacha who runs this place for the owners is just one of the nicest people I think I may have met in my life. He is so nice and so sweet, has the most sincere effort towards his guests. You can tell when it's sincere, right? And I, this morning, I had breakfast after everyone. Oof, the noise. This morning, I had breakfast after Mama, Papa and Jerry. I couldn't get sleep last night, so I had to pop a mild melatonin. I had breakfast last and they were all showering and everything at that time. So I was sitting with him and having conversations with him by myself and he has been in the hospitality business for like decades now and he's just one of the nicest people with the most interesting Love stories him. Chacha, will you video on my video on YouTube? Pe? He's come to say bye to us to the car I am telling you about it We are off to the car I did a very 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 silly thing while packing for this trip I forgot to put my shoes in I can't believe I did that I literally forgot to put closed shoes in I put a couple of sandals, like flats, and I put in a pair of heels for the Mercedes event. But I forgot to put shoes in for the walking part of this trip, which is obviously a huge part. And I feel silly. And my mom has told me off about it at least 523 times. 525. Uh, 25? Okay, he says 525. Gonna try and keep myself busy over the next half an hour because we're gonna be going up the slightly winded, not slightly actually, quite winded road 
from Tanmarg to Gulmarg. We've booked a gondola ride. So if you do want to go take the gondola ride in Kashmir in Gulmarg, which obviously recommended that you do. My dad feels like, how can you come to Gulmarg and not to the gondola ride? So just a disclaimer for you over there, you don't get tickets in real time over there anymore. You have to get your tickets booked online on the JK Cable Cars website. It's approximately 800 rupees, 810 rupees per person. So keep that in mind and book it online. Okay, quick disclaimer, very easy to get overwhelmed by the number of guides that will come at you over here, which is, I mean, obviously it's their business too, but don't feel overwhelmed. They're all very nice people. I will go ahead and leave the number of the guy that my parents have been using for the past seven years down below in the description section. So if you want to make sure you're getting someone super trustworthy and worth the money, I will leave his information down below. Okay, the queue situation over here is nicely managed because there are seats for everyone, which doesn't happen during season. This is because it's off season. Apparently, it's less crowded. So, a little disclaimer for you out there. Rumaisa, my niece, touched time when she was here last year during season with my parents. So, if you're with kids, just keep that in mind. They might get a tad overwhelmed. stop for some pahado wali maggi for Jerry and me and my mum and dad have called for normal khana I think. What did you guys order? I ordered thali. Thalis and pakoras for them, maggi for the both of us because pahado wali maggi. The view over here is going to turn me into a hills person. This beach girl might start cheating on her beaches. That you let me go out. I just went Aage. You, you were faster than Jerry? Of course I was faster than him. So yesterday my mum and Jerry were hanging out while my dad and I were at the Mercedes event and apparently they went on this mini trek and my mum was faster. Today and show you. Okay, go. You got you want to race with Jerry? Leave me high. So she's now go. challenging and when Jerry. You were heading down, you were like <laughs> you were shivering. <laughs> Behind and looking at you. This is my son. She cannot get. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, what do you have to say in your defense? Huh? What do you have to say in your defense? Nothing. I don't argue with old people. <laughs> Mom, he called you old. He called me old. He said he doesn't argue with old people. Is what he said. Come on, give it to him, Mom. Lay it on thick. I'm going to be there. So no problem. I don't feel bad. I'm the lucky one who has reached the old age. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. When you reach there, you'll remember me. <laughs> oh my god, was it recording all this time? My hand hit something. I don't know if it recorded everything. Kaise kar raha tha Jerry? Let her do you again. Kaise kar raha tha Jerry? Mama, dekhao. Big boulders and he was like scared. So he went. <laughs> and I'm right behind him. And then when it was my turn, I came like this. Like <laughs> oh god, this is all in fun and play. No hate in the comments, please. They're both just cartoon characters. We are currently walking towards a specific viewpoint where you can also go on horseback, as you just saw. We're choosing, Alhamdulillah, we're choosing to walk. Mr. No Horsey over here. Miss wants to walk over here. Miss Quivering but wants to walk, feeling cold. And Mr. Trek, expert over there. It's about a 10-15 minute walk to go from that Thaba location to viewpoint. It is sunny. Camera cannot, no camera, can do justice to the views we have. I'm just gonna put that up there. <laughs> Drama one, drama two. Chal, is it Is it drama one, drama two? Fall in, mama. And leg, yeah. move. Two, one, two. two. <laughs> I did it both. When husband reels, banane se mana kare, to maa ko pakar do. 
it's time for a really fun check-in. I'm basically lying down at the edge over here, which is for me really cool because I love things like this. You know this about my personality. If you've seen me bungee and skydiving and all of that, I've taken my sweater off and I've laid it on the grass because there's some amount of horse shit around here. Jerry refuses to sit again because there's some amount of horse shit over here. We filmed a couple of like videos of him and me and basically if you can hear Ye Hasi Wadiya and Roja playing at the back, it's because my parents somewhere there are taking reels. My mom and dad are so cute. I hope Jerry and I are like this like 30-40 years from now inshallah where they're like taking romantic song uh, songs playing on Jerry's phone because his phone is the only one with network and um, Bashir Bhai who is our guide, photographer, everything is basically video recording them because he's so good at it he took such nice pictures I'll insert them and show you he's so good at this so um, yeah they're having a gala time around trees and you know taking so make sure you follow my mom I'm leaving her Instagram handle over here on the screen Shabana Rafiq with a Q-U-E at the end she is just the cutest of my dad they're just both like Kashmir style romanticizing things <laughs> I took a stroll downtown this evening When I heard music echo through the night Found an excellent sweet corn stand over here We all got some Right as soon as you exit the gondola area by the car park I don't know about you guys But my parents will take any photo op they get The OG influences of the family as I say There's an I love Gulmarg set up over here While entering and obviously while exiting Bye! We just checked out of our Tanmark Airbnb. Mama, are you sad? Jerry, are you sad? I know all of us have just made pouty sad faces. Papa, are you sad? Yeah, leaving Kashmir. Leaving Kashmir. We're going home tonight. We are, what is the time? It is 11.57 a.m. literally speaking right now and it's about an hour and a half-ish to Srinagar airport. We have an 8.20 flight. So really, uh, we're gonna be getting there super, super early. There's a chance we're gonna stop somewhere in Srinagar and hang, I guess, for a bit. Because keep in mind, when you are flying out of Kashmir, you need to reach the airport three hours before time. There's intense checking of every piece of your luggage in you and all of that that happens, I think, twice. We'll figure out exactly what it is today and we'll, I'll give you another update. But basically, keep that buffer in mind. Despite that buffer, we have a lot of time in hand. They did have another booking at the same Airbnb or we would have requested for a much later checkout and figured out what to pay extra. But they had a booking, so we had to leave on time. We're gonna see what we're doing and then I'll tell you. The same old songs that I heard the night before. So I started running so I wouldn't be too late. Have some chat. Hi Jerry. Hi Jerry. I've ordered for some dahi papri. No, what? Dahi puri. Sorry, my bad. Which has just come. But you said papri chat or something also, now You ordered for dahi puri. No papri chat. You ordered then. To the beat that was blasting through the night. And on the street, the crowd was jumping, singing songs and dancing through the night. Anam, 
Okay, I don't know how much of what my other camera caught while I was trying to enter the shikara, but it kind of lost a little bit of balance while I was going in there and it scared the daylights out of me. My parents wanted me to try again and Jerry wanted me to try again even though he wasn't going to sit in it and I gave it another shot but then even after I sat I was just uneasy long story short and so I said I don't want to sit in it just for the heck of it for a boat ride when I'm going to be stressed the whole time in my head and uh, I'm not going to do it just for content that's just not who I am and it's beautiful and even though I can swim just in my head the minute I went in and it like went a little bit I got freaked out I was very very freaked out I told my parents to continue anyway so they're somewhere there I'll try and get some clips to share with you um, I cried a little Jerry calmed me down because I got so scared and I think I panicked a little bit but I'm fine now it was a momentary momentary lapse, lapse. and uh, it's, not a lapse. it's not a lapse okay then it's whatever you want to call it I recommend you do it because I've done it before as a child when I had no fears <laughs> clearly as an older person today at 32 I carry a certain set of fears with me that is not good for me and hopefully I will overcome it but today is not that day <laughs> um, and my parents are out there having a good time they're gonna go visit the floating market and there's about six points that you get to go see on the Shikara so yeah for when you're here keep that in mind